Here we're going to talk about a feature unique to Excel 2007. Um, other than the ribbon, which is uh, where you have all your menus and your icons and your Excel commands, you also have a toolbar that you can customize, which is called the Quick Access Toolbar. Now in prior versions of Excel, you had maybe two dozen toolbars that you can call up at will and then use the corresponding icons to perform different tasks in your spreadsheets. Um, here with the Excel ribbon, you have fixed menus and their groups of related icons under the different icon categories. But you might have a need to customize a toolbar. And since the ribbon is pretty much fixed, there is not too much you can do as far as the ribbon goes, you can customize and add to the Quick Access Toolbar the features that you use most frequently. Now this Quick Access Toolbar will typically appear above the ribbon to the upper left hand side of the screen immediately adjacent to the Microsoft Office button or orb. Now the options for this toolbar are as follows. Uh, keep in mind that you have initially the save command or icon and the undo and redo icons. Now let's see what we have in terms of customization options. I'm going to click the little drop down arrow to the right of that toolbar. Now here we have a series of additional commands that can be added just by clicking to enable them or turn them on. The features that are currently displayed have check marks beside them already, which would include save, undo, and redo, as I had mentioned. If you'd like to, to add an additional feature from this list here, you can just simply click on it. Say something you do frequently is open up and start a new Excel workbook. If we click on new, it then adds the corresponding icon that you can click on that will bring up a new workbook for you to use. I'm going to click the little drop down again and say I want to add the open icon as well. I click there with my left mouse button and there I have the icon so I can open, browse to, and look for an existing Excel workbook that I have on my computer. Clicking the drop down menu again, uh, we have additional options here. Uh, quick print, print preview, spelling, undo and redo are currently already added. Also sort, you can add an icon to sort in ascending or descending order if you choose to as well. Now we have, as well, we have a more commands option. We have the option to display the quick access toolbar beneath the ribbon instead. I'm going to show you what that looks like. If I click that, it moves the quick access toolbar from above the ribbon to immediately below it. You might prefer to have it down here and then you can access your commands right from there. To change the location back, locate the arrow to the far right of that toolbar, click on it, come down, and then you have the option to now show it above the ribbon. I'm going to click there and it will put it back where it was initially. Coming back to the drop down arrow, one other feature we have here before we look at more commands is minimize the ribbon. Now the ribbon typically takes up a little bit of real estate or a little bit of space at the top of your screen. If you prefer to minimize the ribbon so that you don't have to look at all the icons or the features until or unless you click on a tab containing those features, come here and click minimize the ribbon. That gives you several more rows of Excel displayed on the screen, a little bit more visible area while you work, but it leaves the menu tabs visible. So if you need to go ahead and click on a feature or a setting under your home tab, just click that tab. The ribbon then reappears and gives you access to all the icon groups under that tab that you might need. When you click back onto your worksheet and start working, the ribbon minimizes itself again. You might like that feature. Here's how you turn it back off again. Go to the quick access toolbar, click your drop down arrow and select to turn off, minimize the ribbon. That will bring it back again as you might prefer. Now to look at other commands that you frequently use and you might like to add to your quick access toolbar, I'm going to click this little arrow here. Now I'm going to come down and click on more commands. This opens up a screen and it displays two columns. The column on the right shows me the commands that are currently added to my quick access toolbar. On the left side, I have a drop down at the top that lets me choose a category from which I can choose 
and locate the feature or the icon or the command I'd like to add. And notice you have categories such as popular commands, commands that don't appear in the ribbon, all commands in a very long list, just commands associated with macros, commands that might be underneath your office button or the office menu, and then you have all the different major uh, primary tabs on the ribbon that you can choose from. Say there's a setting on the Home tab that you'd like to add to your Quick Access Toolbar. Just click on Home tab. You'll then see all the commands available to you from the Home tab. And say Auto Sum is something you use frequently in Excel. You can click on it to highlight it, then click on the Add button. It brings it over to the right side of the screen. If you choose OK, you now have the little symbol representing the Auto Sum icon. To come back again, I click the drop down there at the right of that toolbar. I come down to More Commands. It shows me the features that I currently have available to me on my Quick Access Toolbar, and I can then choose additional features. If I want to remove a feature, I select it, I click on the Remove button, and that will no longer appear on my Quick Access Toolbar. Another setting you have here is the ability to add specific commands just for specific Excel workbooks. Now the default is if you make a change to the features or the commands that appear on your Quick Access Toolbar, those features will be available to you in any Excel file that you happen to work on. But if for you have a particular need to add an icon or a command just to a specific Excel file, if you click the drop down, your open Excel files will appear. And my open file is book one. If I look at the top of the screen, that's the name of the file. I have not yet saved it or given it a meaningful file name. But if I select book one, it will then let me select from the groups of icons and commands, commands that I would just have appear on my quick access toolbar just for this file alone. Under most instances, I would leave the setting for all documents there when you go to make edits or changes to your Quick Access Toolbar until you become a little bit more advanced and you know exactly how you'd like to have specific files set up with specific commands associated with those. I'm going to click OK to take me out of that screen. I now have my Quick Access Toolbar to which I've added the File New command as well as the File Open command.